Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Wow, it has been a hot minute since I filmed the video. I am so sorry about that. I needed to take a break for the rest of May because my daughter was finishing up school and there a lot went on during May mental health wise. So I needed to, to step back and just kind of take care of myself and just, you know, let the month be, I guess you could say. But anyways, I'm back. Hopefully I can film more consistently now that my daughter's out of school and I am starting to get into a summer routine. No promises, just because, you know, mom life and just life in general. So this is my May bullet journal setup. So it was a rough month, so you will see that I did not even finish this journal. So let's go ahead and flip through it. So I did use a A5 notebook from Penguin Paper Co. This is on Tomoe River paper and it's dot grid. Here is my calendar, which I had in my bullet journal from Planner Monkey Co. And then I tipped in a vellum from the Crescent Planner. And then this is just how I was thinking I wanted to lay out my planner my index which never got <laughs> done and here is my weekly task list so these are all the things that i want to do each day um i am like exploring the moon cycle uh here is the new moon in full moon these are just um notes because i'm just curious about it here is my goals and I didn't do my goal reflection. So here is the month of May. I really loved this um, artwork. So I wanted to put it into my May calendar and I really love how this turned out. I wanted to also try a Calendex, which I saw on Ellie's Corner which I will put her Instagram handle right here and also link her to her videos. So I got inspired by this, so I tried that. Here is my May calendar. So I don't know if you noticed, but here I have a little girl for to represent my daughter. And here I have a little boy to represent my son. So this is what my May calendar looked like. And I just turned the artwork into stickers and then used some washi. Here is my goals and my tasks for the month. And I just kind of labeled it with next actions. Here is just some things to appreciate for my kid, for my family, like anything that they do for me or just, um, just little things to appreciate them. I didn't stay consistent with this. This I wanted to do, uh, I didn't know what to put on this page and my daughter actually ended up giving me some flowers and just sticking it in my planner. So I decided to tape it up and just keep it there. So now it's kind of like a pressed flower in my journal, which I really, really love. And it's perfect for like Mother's Day. Here's my sticker a day, which was inspired by Dakshina. And so I just kind of, I didn't finish it, but this is what how it turned out. Here is my monthly self-care tasks. I didn't do all of them. I only did two of them, but I still love how this turned out. And then my therapy notes, which are covered for obvious reasons. Here is where my pictures of the month are supposed to go, just like a memory thing. I couldn't find my HP sprocket, so I haven't done this yet, but as soon as I find it, I will put the pictures there. So I wanted to, um, during this week, I missed having an hourly at a week glance. So I put this in just to kind of see how I would like it, and I do like it. Um, I am exploring going back into an Erin Condren. I won't be getting rid of the bullet journal system because I do love the creative and flexibility of it. And let's be real, there's a lot of things in here that you can't put in 
pre-made planners. So this is what I have set up. And then here is my weekend. And then I almost forgot my Dubai list, so I put it right there. So here is my Monday where I made some stickers out of that um, artwork and I did that for the first week. So up here I have my meals, I have my tasks, and I have some journaling, and then my hourly layout. And I just kind of have that throughout the week. And I do really like how this turned out. And then I have my weekly reflection. And in my weekly reflection, I do my wins, what worked, what didn't work, my obstacles faced, how did I feel, lessons learned, um, things I need to adjust and a favorite memory. If you guys want me to do a video on how I do that, let me know in the comments down below. And this time I think I just did the dailies because I did move into an hourly planner. I moved into, I moved into a Liveridge planner at this time so I didn't need a weekly. So this is how I set it up and I do really like this planner. The paper is kind of Thin, so it was starting to bleed through in certain areas, but I do really love this layout. So here are my dailies. And then my weekly reflection. And then I wanted to try my dailies some other way because I was exploring going into the Daily Duo by Erin Condren. I just feel like now that it's summer, I kind of want to explore different things. So I kind of made this more into like a journaling type thing, as well as check uh, tracking some health stuff. And I actually ended up started falling off of this. I started having ish, um, difficulty liking this planner. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's because this is really thin, but I just wasn't liking this anymore when I was getting to this point. So I tried doing a um, memory keep right here and I was gonna journal here. Obviously that didn't happen. And then my weekly reflection. See, I only, I stopped on a Tuesday. And then I got into my monthly reflection. So yeah, I stopped on the 25th and I just kind of switched planners and I just didn't touch this. Uh, I will be showing you guys my quarter two planner lineup. There's definitely a lot of changes in it. So I still have the bullet journal system in my lineup. It's just, kind of having a different role like than it used to. I do love the system, so I do still want to keep it, but I will be showing you guys my new lineup coming up in probably the next two videos, one of those videos. But anyways, just stay tuned. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your guys' support and still sticking around. If you guys are not subscribed, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. I would appreciate it very much. And I will talk to you guys in another video. Bye.